What's up boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. It is Thanksgiving morning. So just taking a quick second here that I have to uh, fill you guys in because there is a lot to fill you guys, because there is a lot to fill you guys in on. So like I said guys, sorry I haven't been around for a little while. We have been pulling, our season's actually done. <gasps> the engine is out of the truck. I have just been super busy with my actual job. I run a business. And I'm the only guy there. And between that, just trying to be on top of the pulling truck, work was super busy, didn't take videos because honestly, videos are second priority to making sure I don't ruin this thing. So with that out of the way, engines apart, we've done a couple tests on it to check some things out. And there are a lot of things that can be you know, just improved with the way it is right now to make it better. And then there's a, a few things that we're thinking about doing for next year to make it even better. So we'll leave that at that. And if we swing around here into the trailer, you'll notice it's the cleanest it has ever been. So I got one thing to show you before I show you the new trailer. No hiding it. New trailer. It's the best trailer ever. It's my favorite. It is my dream trailer. I am so excited to show you guys this thing. But first, we got something else I got to show you. So I've got no real reason to get rid of this trailer. This trailer has been fantastic to me. We've taken it up to Maine, down to Pennsylvania, all on these same uh, G tires. Once we put the new tires on, it had been absolutely bulletproof. The trailer's been awesome. So the only issue that we ran into is that when we're at the pulls, it's a lot nicer to be able to get towed around so you're not starting the truck and driving it or relying on other people. So for that reason, I got on Facebook Marketplace, found myself a cheap little... RTV. It's not perfect, a little beat up, banged up and old, but at the end of the day, put some new U-joints in it and should be a pretty good unit for us. So we were able to actually use it at a couple of the last pulls because my dad has a 40-foot uh, a trailer too, but his truck is two feet shorter than mine because he's a mod truck. So we've been able to put this in his trailer and then tow his truck and my truck around and it's been actually fantastic. So... With that being said, the rough math was going to be that my 40-foot trailer, with my truck being two feet longer than my father's, I only needed like a 42 or 44-foot trailer. So, just like the Kubota, went on Facebook Marketplace and just looked around and waited until a trailer came up, and this is what we came up with. 44-foot <laughs> freaking trailer, boys. It is unbelievable. It is so big inside i bought it pretty much sight unseen went out there we drove 13 hours to indiana to pick this bad guy up it is everything that i've wanted it is let me go get it plugged in so we can turn the lights on but it's jai hugo all right so we got the trailer plugged in so we'll bring you in through the side door we've got these beautiful nice wide double doors come in here first thing you'll notice there's a second floor on this bad guy. Turn the lights on. Front neap area. So it's a 13, it's a big trailer. It's 44 feet long and it's 13 feet tall. So here I am standing above the kingpin and I'm, I'm six foot four and there's still tons of room above my head. Come back over here, this is the second floor. So really, I didn't really know what I was getting into when I decided to buy a stacker-ish trailer. So it's not, it's considered a stacker trailer because it's built to have another car up here, but there's not like a lift in it. So the rough idea that we have now, I mean, obviously we're gonna have to change some things like um, those cabinets all have to go because like our trailer right now, we have ramp overs where the truck comes we don't take the front tires off, we just go right over the tires and we park it like that. So then the next problem we ran into is putting the Kubota in here. We could put the Kubota in this area here if we wanted, but we have all this area up here. So I'm thinking we're going to just take the Kubota and take the top off of it, make it a convertible. So then we'll have our ramps that come up over here, up there, and then we'll take and put the Kubota, boop, right on the top floor. 
by my fuzzy math, it should fit really tight up there and be pretty good. So we'll be able to, in theory, have the Kubota up there, the truck back here, and even if we had a tilt body, we could like lift the body while we're in here. And then we'll still have this entire workspace area. I mean, it's got some wicked nice, like, you know, it's got the race race cabinet, you know, the race car, trailer, cabinets, whatever. And now that I see them, I could definitely build them. I got the hardware, but super simple. But yeah, this is just like a, this is a dream trailer for me. I've always loved the top fuel trailers and how like they're all inclusive. You can work on the entire vehicle out of one trailer and like this is just a lot of space so it's more space than we honestly need but you know when you're buying used you don't really have a whole choice and i got a what i believe is a reasonably good deal for a trailer this size so with that being said we got to do some moving around we got to move these cabinets uh probably gonna take that thick cabinet which is for uh it's pretty cool actually they, they must have just carried spare axles or something so we'll probably just put some wood on that, put those shelves up here, and just, just play around with the trailer. I mean, we have a whole lot of split space to play around with. It's more than we need, so it just gives us a chance to, gives me a chance to be very organized, clean, and just be on top of my stuff because I just want life to be easy when we go pulling because it's hectic. I want to make it as simple as possible, and if I make it simple, it makes it a little bit easier to make videos for you guys, which I enjoy doing. It's just priorities. Truck comes first, business comes first, family comes first. You guys are at least fourth, fifth, sixth, somewhere down there. So probably going to end it off there. Thanksgiving, we'll uh, keep you guys updated probably. Maybe give you guys a mid-season update if we're doing anything fun. But other than that, thank you guys for tuning in. And I uh, can't wait to show you the final product when we're actually loading this thing in here. So it'll be a good off-season. Catch you guys.